Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson, Jr. I am the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this powerful video. In this video, you're going to experience life-changing information that you will not find anywhere else. I'm doing an incredible interview with a great friend of mine. His name is Dr. Doug Rookie. And Dr. Doug Rookie, he specializes in the dangers of DU. So in this interview, you're going to hear exclusively about what exactly is DU. You're also going to hear about the environmental effects that DU can actually do to you. And also, Dr. Doug Rookie, he used to be in charge of the uranium project when he was in the military. And DU actually is a radiation that burns through your skin causes skin rashes, and also uranium also burns through masses, is a very powerful gas, and much, much more. So right about now, go get your pen and your pad, sit back and relax, and write down some notes. In this interview that I'm going to reveal to you with my great friend, Dr. Doug Rookie, in regards to the dangers of uranium and the dangers of DU, is going to change your life. So check it out. You are experiencing a life-changing, powerful interview, and you are hearing it first from Arthur Robinson Jr.'s PowerfulInterviews.com. Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson Jr. I am the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. And tonight, I have another special interview for each and every one of you. Tonight, I have a wonderful person on the call, and he's a great friend of mine. His name is Dr. Doug Rookie. And for those that don't know Dr. Doug, let me explain to you about this incredible man. Dr. Doug Rookie earned his B.S. in physics at Western Illinois University, followed by his M.S. and Ph.D. in physics and technology education at the University of Illinois. His military career has spanned four decades to include combat duty during the Vietnam War and the Gulf War I. Dr. Doug served as a member of the U. S. Army Medical Command's Nuclear, Biological, and Chemical Teaching Medical Response and Special Operations Team, the 3rd U.S. Army Captured Equipment Project Team, and with the 3rd U.S. Army Depleted Uranium Assessment Team during Gulf War One Operation Desert Storm. He was the U.S. Army's Depleted Uranium Project Director. Now, folks, he is a, he was a director from 1994 to 1995. He had developed the congressionally mandated education and training materials and wrote U.S. Army Regulation 748, the U.S. Army PAM 748, and the U.S. Army's common task for DU incidents. Dr. Doug has taught nuclear biological and chemical warfare hazardous materials and emergency medicine for over 20 years to both civilian and military personnel. Dr. Doug Rookie was one of the original authors of the 1982 Ed Rat Emergency Disaster Response Assessment Team proposal which formed the foundation for today's National Guard. Dr. Doug Rookie serves or has served as an advisor with the U.S. Centers of Disease Control, the U.S. Department of Defense, the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, and the U.S. Institute of Medicine, and the U.S. Senate, and the U.S. House of Representatives, and the U.S. Department of Transportation. And that is an awesome resume. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome Dr. Doug Rookie to the call. Thank you, Art. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Doug, for taking time out of your busy schedule to educate me and my audience about the dangers of DU. I gladly appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, it's, a, it's turned into a total disaster. I mean, the U.S. military started messing around with depleted uranium munitions in the 1960s and 1970s. And uh, the first time they were actually used is we gave them to Israel to use against the uh, Egyptians in the Sinai in the 73 war, and they were extraordinarily effective. And then Desert Storm came along, and we were up against an Iraqi military that uh, our intel and everybody claimed had incredible weapons, which they didn't have, we found out. 
and we use the uranium munitions extraordinarily during Desert Storm and continue to do so to this day. And uh, in fact, just a few days ago, I had a phone call from the wife of a uh, gunner in a Bradley fighting vehicle who shot Iraq all up with DU right now, and he's very sick and trying to get medical care, and he can't get it. So it continues to be a nightmare. Mm. Now, explain to my listeners in layman's terms who you are and can you break down the dangers of DU and what exactly is DU? Well, depleted uranium, I'm just an old Army retired NCO and officer, and I was also in the Air Force back in the Vietnam days. And for whatever reason, the Army gave me the responsibility to clean up the uh, use and the effects and the environmental contamination from the use of uranium munitions during Desert Storm and then put together their programs. Uh, uranium munitions or depleted uranium are the byproduct of the uranium enrichment process the U.S. Department of Energy does where they want to extract fissionable isotopes to make nuclear reactor fuel and atomic bombs. So 99% or say for example for every 100 pounds of the pure uranium that goes in the enrichment process over 99 pounds is pure waste and that's uranium hexafluoride which is then made in uranium munitions. Uh, uranium munitions come in different forms. There's kinetic energy penetrator, I think this is gigantic darts of uranium, okay? Gigantic rods of uranium. They're strictly all solid radioactive isotopes, no lead, no iron, no steel, no nothing else, no copper, just uranium. And uh, we have in those, we have the 556 five, millimeter for the M16, M4 variety rifle, the 7.62 millimeter for the machine gun, the 50 caliber for the Super Barrett rifle and the machine gun. 25 millimeter for the, well, 20 millimeter comes to that first for the Navy Phalanx, which the Coast Guard has. The 25 millimeter for the Bradley Fighting Vehicle and the Navy and the Marine Corps Lab. 30 millimeter for the A 10 Warthog aircraft. And then we got 105, 120, 125 millimeter rounds for the tank. And for example, a 30 millimeter round, each and every round is over three, three quarters of a pound of solid uranium. Wow. And uh, the Abrams tank rounds and the, you know, the ones for the British tanks, Australian tanks, every single round is over 10 pounds of solid radioactive materials. So those are gigantic darts or penetrators, uh, like gigantic bullets. Think of a gigantic stick lying down range, all radioactive all chemically toxic, that's on fire, and when it hits something, that it turns into a firestorm of burning uranium fragments and non-burning fragments. Well, then we have what's the cluster bombs, or landmines. Those are the ATOM and the PETOM. And think about these as a gigantic softball, where the outer casing of the softball is all your radioactive materials, uranium, and it's filled with high explosives. Mm. Then we have the bunker busters, conventional gravity bombs, like I dropped out of B-52s during Vietnam days, and then we have all the cruise missiles and everything else. And then we have the thermobaric bombs, which are a mixture of uranium and uh, magnesium that uh, set off a firestorm of burning stuff when they get inside anything. So these, that's what we use. And, uh, I mean, they're extraordinarily effective against all targets. They were primarily selected to use against armor, you know, like tanks and uh, armored cars. But uh, we then found out that they were extraordinarily effective against wooden apartment buildings conventional brick and stone masonry, everything. And so what we have done in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, we shot up hospitals, sewage sanitation plants, water treatment facilities, apartment buildings, hospitals, uh, ice plants, anything and everything, mm. in addition to military targets. And it just literally destroys anything that it hits. I mean, that's why they call it the silver bullet. It's totally, totally destructive. Hmm. Now, DU is very dangerous, and when you basically went in the war, were people actually dying from the radiation from the DU? Well, it's a combination of stuff. Uh, I mean, the radioactive isotopes and the radioactive...